Although pilots worry about an engine failure, there's actually one in-flight emergency that is more serious, and that is an in-flight fire. Now, the good news is you can prepare for it, and with preparation, you can greatly improve the outcome. How do you know when you have an engine fire? Well, you could smell oily smoke coming into the cockpit, and you might feel the heat. Now, let's follow John through the engine fire in-flight procedures for a Cessna 172. Now, if you do have an in-flight fire, the first thing you want to do is quit pumping fuel up there. So right away, do a flow procedure to shut off fuel to the engine. You start at the pedestal, pull out the fuel shutoff valve, and then you reach up and pull the mixture to idle cutoff. And I'm not actually going to do that, but I'm going to simulate that by pulling out on the throttle here. And finally, turn off the master switch. And the reason you want to turn off the master switch is, if you had a fire up there, it burnt the insulation off the wires, and that could cause a short that could reignite a fire. Now, you want to leave the magnetos on. And the reason you want to leave the magnetos on is, you want to consume the fuel normally up there instead of having the fire consume it. So if the engine's running, leave it running that way. You want to try and isolate the fire from the cockpit right away, so shut off the cabin heat and air vents. Now. If you did have your engine running in the first place, well, you just shut it off. So in addition to your other problems, you also have an engine out emergency problem. Now, you don't want to attempt to restart the engine because you'd have to pump fuel up there again to do that, and that is not a good idea. Now, ask yourself at this point, did the fire go out? And if the fire went out, all you have now is an engine out emergency, so we'll go through the ABCs. A is for the attitude that gets you the correct airspeed, and that's wings level attitude. B is for best field, and at a minimum, all you want to do is head towards an area where a successful landing is probable. And C is for the cockpit checks. Now, we don't have to do the cockpit checks to figure out why the engine quit. We know why the engine quit. We just shut it off. So we don't need to worry about that. Now, if the fire did not go out, it's time to start getting this airplane down as fast as we can. And to do that, we're going to establish the airplane in a dive at 100 knots. And this 100-knot dive will do two things for us. First of all, it'll help get us down, which we really do want to do. And secondly, it might blow out the fire, which would be a good thing. Now, at this point, if time and altitude allow, you should pick up your checklist for the engine fire during flight. And it says bold items are mixture idle cutoff, fuel shutoff valve off, auxiliary fuel pump switch off, and master switch off. And we've done all of those items. Uh, next, it says airspeed 100 knots. Well, we've got that already. And it says force landing execute. I think we think of that on our own, don't you?